This morning, I want to address you on the issue of slavery, a topic that most Southerners are never supposed to open their mouths about. It's a topic that we are supposed to be very much ashamed about and cover our heads. And I am not here to say that it's something we ought to be proud about. What I am here to say is what you've been told about slavery is not the truth. The South has long carried the stigma of racism and bigotry. And the fact that slavery only ended because the South lost the war has served to reinforce this common stereotype. And so for this reason, many Southerners take little pride in our section's role in the war between the states, or our nation's role. The only thing that most Southerners boast about is the way we fought. And of course, the way we fought is praiseworthy. I'm not at all going to denounce that. But it's sad to me that we don't talk of principle and righteousness and truth. And the reason why we don't is because we have been trained to think and told to think over and over again that the South might have been ferocious fighters, but they were not righteous. It was wrong what was being done. And the thing that has prevented us from opening our mouths on these areas and speaking of principle and righteousness and truth has been the issue of slavery. How could anyone like Stonewall Jackson fight for slavery, people ask me. Robert E. Lee was a great man. Why would he fight for slavery, I've been told. Well, and especially after someone hears what I and perhaps you as well will say that the South was a pervasively Christian culture, they have a bigger question then. Why would a pervasively Christian culture defend slavery? We have all heard of the brutalities, the immoralities, the cruelties, and the heartlessness that was supposedly inherent in the system of slavery. We have heard of the breaking up of slave families, the forcible rape of slave women, the brutal beatings that were, they say, commonplace, the horrible living conditions, the unrelenting work schedule, the back-breaking routine, all of which, they say, go together to form a crushing, the crushing oppression that was slavery in the South. One uh, historian said it was a condition that shames the modern world. 